My name is Dr. Bill Thales. I'm a professor of emergency medicine at Western Michigan University, Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine. I'm also privileged to serve as the EMS Medical Director for Kalamazoo County and as a state medical director for the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services Division of EMS and Trauma. This short video is being recorded on Sunday, December 13th, 2020, nearly a year into the devastating COVID-19 pandemic. Today's date is significant in that earlier today, the much-awaited vaccine began to ship from the manufacturing plant here in Kalamazoo County to sites throughout Michigan and throughout the nation. The purpose of this video is to provide simple, hopefully understandable information regarding the vaccine and why it is absolutely essential that you as EMS, fire, public safety professionals consider receiving the vaccine. Taking the COVID-19 vaccine is important not only to keep you safe as a responder, but also to keep your coworkers safe, to keep your family safe, and ultimately to keep our citizens, particularly the vulnerable ones, safe. Please take a few minutes to watch this video, learn about the COVID-19 vaccine, and learn about why the decision that you're going to make regarding this vaccine is so important. Thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Tom Fun. I'm one of the WMED Infectious Disease Doctors. It's Saturday, December 12th, and I've been thinking lately about the conversations I've had with people about COVID vaccines, and I thought I might share it with you this way. So I talk to nurses, I talk to people in the hospital, I talk to family, I talk to people in my community, in my church, my neighbors, and everybody wants to know about the COVID vaccine and whether they should get it. So like I do in clinic, um, let me just tell you what I know about it, and then you can make your own intelligent decision. So for starters, the vaccine can't give you COVID. There's nothing in it that can. All it contains is a little strand of what's called RNA, which is our body's way of translating DNA into the protein, the protein in this case being the outside piece of the virus, and our body then sees that and makes a ton of antibodies to it. And actually, the amount of antibodies you make from this in the studies seems to be more than getting it what we call wild-type virus. In other words, getting the vaccine probably gives you better immunity than does getting COVID. So that's good. <clears throat> so there's nothing in it that can actually give you COVID. You can't get real sick from this. What you can do is get a little muscle soreness where you get the injection. Um, and you can get a fever. The fever is really low grade in almost everybody, like 100.4 degrees and lasts the day or less. Um, when I get an influenza vaccine, I roll up my sleeve. They give me the shot in my arm. Uh, I go back to work. I play basketball that night. I don't play any worse than usual. Uh, so it really is not terribly sore at all. <clears throat> so the vaccine is safe near as we can tell so far. Now I say it that way because to be honest, we haven't had as much time as we usually do to monitor for side effects, but almost all side effects in most vaccine studies takes place in the first two to six months. And we've had virtually zero so far. So it really looks like this is a very safe vaccine. It ought to be because of the way it's made. It looks that way because of the studies so far. There've been a few cases of Bell's palsy reported in Great Britain, four cases um, in the vaccine arm. But the people who have looked at it said that's the same rate you would have if you didn't get the vaccine in that arm. Um, there may be an allergy or two. Uh, there are two cases in England so far out of thousands and thousands who've had some kind of allergy. Um, to be honest, we don't have any data on that, so I don't know how much a deal that is. But here's what I want you to know. In the 18,000 people who've gotten the vaccine in the United States, no side effects of those kinds at all. Virtually no side effects. Very, very clean. This includes 12% African Americans, so we're talking about almost 2,000 people, and about 5% Latino, so that's about seven, 800 people. When you look at numbers like that and you study people for two to six months and see no side effects, it's safe. 
So while I'd like to have two to five years to tell you it's really, really, really safe, what I can tell you is, yeah, this is really safe. So I think the vaccine's worth getting. I'm going to get it. My family's going to get it. My kids are going to get it. Even though my kids and my wife's chance of having a serious side effect from the COVID virus is pretty small. But remember this, the worst influenza we've ever seen, that 1918 Spanish flu, had a mortality of about 1%. The mortality from COVID is three to 10 times higher than that. And so if I had a choice, yeah, we'd all be getting the COVID vaccine. But you can make up your own mind. I think it's really sensible to. It'll protect you. It'll protect your family. And it'll protect our community. It'll protect the elderly in our community. And it'll allow us to get past lockdown quicker. None of us wants to be in lockdown. None of us wants to see our neighbors out of work. Our business is closing and life still be crazy and our kids not going back to school. Let's get over this. Let's get this darn thing done. Let's get vaccinated. Let's move on. That's all I got. I'm happy to talk to people about this in any way, shape or form. Um, good luck. Let's get through this. Hello, my name is Dr. William Nettleton. I serve as medical director for Kalamazoo County Health and Community Services Department and also Calhoun County Public Health Department. I'm also an assistant professor in family and community medicine at WMED. Here today to talk about some brief uh, common questions that folks maybe have about the new COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine. Um, so first, this is a safe and effective vaccine. Well, how do you, can you say that, Doc? Um, I heard this kind of rolled out kind of fast. Well, there are a couple layers there. So to make that determination, over 40,000 people participated in this trial. And it was able to be done on an expedited way because we had the sequence of the virus uh, within weeks of knowing about it back in January, which actually allowed researchers um, to begin uh, working on that vaccine way back when. So you probably have questions about what the heck is this mRNA vaccine? How does that basically work? Uh, how does it work in my body? I think about it as like a, like a steak, a grizzly steak. It's got a fat layer on the outside and then the protein, the meat on the inside. And that's basically what is, uh, makes the vaccine work. Uh, when it comes into the body, that fat layer allows it to go into a cell and it stays within um, the jelly of the cell. It does not go into the nucleus. It does not um, alter your DNA. It allows the cell to then make the antibodies or the proteins that then are protect you from uh, the virus that causes COVID-19. So that's kind of how that works. And we've learned that there's a robust or fair amount of immune response. People um, who take the vaccine often seem to have headache, fever, uh, pain at the injection site, some pain in their muscles. Um, and so I think that's going to be an expected uh, side effect of the medication. What that is, is that it's a robust immune response. It says your body um, is, is doing what it's supposed to do to protect um, from the SARS-CoV-2, that virus that causes COVID-19. It's got to be taken um, uh, around three weeks apart. Um, and so it's a two dose series and that's really important. So when you sign up for getting the vaccine, you're really committing yourself to two doses. And that's very important. It's also important to remember that we consider you to be more protected and essentially pr protected after that second dose. It shouldn't be, well, I got the first dose, I should be good. No, the data is about having that second dose as being really important. It's also important that when you get the vaccine that you continue to perform your personal protective measures, wearing your face mask, wearing your face shield, wearing your gloves, physically and socially distancing. So why are you saying that, Doc? I thought you just said it's highly effective. You can think about all these measures that we do as Swiss cheese. We're trying to plug the holes in the Swiss cheese in order to best protect ourselves. So you still got to be doing all those things to protect yourself even after the vaccine, despite it being a highly safe and effective um, vaccine. The last point I'll, I'll, I'll share is that, you know, vaccines are unique in a type of medication. You know, normally when we, when we take a medication, we're doing it um, for to treat ourselves, really to have the effect on, on us as one single person. The unique thing about a vaccine is that it has that long protective effect for yourself, but also for your uh, colleagues, 
your families, and also your patients. And that's why this vaccine um, is particularly important during the pandemic. And I think having questions is, is good and natural, and let's continue to have those questions when they come up. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Gary Kirtley, and I retired from the Kansas City Department of Public Safety as an executive lieutenant. I wanted to give you just a small glimpse into my life with COVID. I can tell you a month and a half ago, I was not about to take the vaccine. And unfortunately, our politicians have made this political and I got caught up in that. I could look at statistics and tell you that more people died from the flu than COVID. And they're blowing this out of proportion, making it a bigger deal than they were. Then I got sick November 15th of 2020. And I continued to get worse. And I got transported to the hospital on November 24th, by the grace of God. They didn't expect me to live the first four or five days that I was here. And I've never been so scared in my life. All I did was try to fight to breathe and I couldn't do that. At least when we're on the street, we get involved in a fight get involved in a gun battle, we've got a pretty good darn chance we're gonna win it, and most likely we will. But when you're laying in bed and there's nothing that you can do but pray, it's a hard, hard thing to do. It's been very tough. I've been in a room with no windows for 17 days. They finally moved me into a room with windows and last night, they moved me out of ICU. Today is my 19th day in the hospital. It's been very tough. I haven't seen my family. They haven't seen me. And psychologically, you try to prepare for things, but you can't get through it. It's very, very tough. I'm telling you this because my attitude has changed about the vaccine. Every one of my family members, including myself, are gonna get vaccinated. And I can't implore you enough to think about it and take the vaccine. If it's not for you, it's for your family. Tomorrow is my 20th day and I'm hoping to get out, but I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna lay in bed, and I'm gonna still sit there and try to breathe because my lungs are still infested with pneumonia because of this COVID. It's very, very real. And I hope you reconsider and I hope that you take the vaccine. May God bless each and every one of you and I will continue to pray for all of you. Thanks for your time. Hello, community. My name's Vernon Coakley. I'm the chief of Kalamazoo Public Safety. Listen, I know 2020 has been a very unprecedented year for all of us. We started out with COVID, civil unrest, and now we're back into the COVID situation again. I am COVID positive. I want you to know that this is a serious, serious pandemic that we're going through in our times again. As we approach the, the Christmas holiday and as vaccines become available to our, to our community, I want you to know how important it is for you to be vaccinated, especially as medical first responders, as first responders, and just as community. As you can see, my, my breathing somewhat labored um, I have warm, cold spells, headaches, muscle spasms, muscle aches. This particular pandemic 
is very important for us to defeat. And it's going to start out not only with uh, PPE and hand washing, social distancing, but more importantly, now that there's a, there are vaccines becoming available, medical first responders, I am very seriously, seriously asking for you to be vaccinated, to protect yourselves and your family. I want to wish you all a very merry, merry Christmas. Thank you.